Hello everyone, this is your sensei, Joe Lau, and this is the Fire Dojo. All right, and welcome to our next fire hack. And today we are doing Paulonia Tomentosa. And uh, this is a real fire hack for me. I've never done Paulonia before. Paulonia is an invasive uh, tree from Asia. And uh, so what we have here are certain parts of a uh, young sapling tree. We have uh, some of the sapling itself. As you can see, the young sapling is hollow. Okay. And it changes from being round to being oval in places. So um, you might also notice that if, as we do a cross section, that it has nodes much like um, bamboo. Although uh, Polonia, I'll tell you right now, is a very soft wood. It's not, uh, it does not have the density or hardness of bamboo. So we're working with something rather soft. So as you can see, it has chambers. And uh, I've split these ones. These are the thickest ones I have of this bunch that I have. I don't have a lot of it. This is really it, what you see in front of, in front of you. And uh, these are going to be the baseboards. This is a very, these are very small branches that came off the sapling itself. Okay. And uh, what I'm going to try and do is uh, we're going to try and do a bow drill. And I'm going to try and do a hand drill. Now, uh, these are really um, uh, not very straight and uh, circular in diameter. They vary somewhat being oval, going round, and as you work your way down, it's oval, it's round, and it's uh, irregular in that manner. So it would be difficult to do a hand drill with ease with the Polonia. These are leaf stalks um, and I was thinking I might be able to get away with doing reloads for a hand drill or something of that nature but it's really too thin and uh, it's much like a reed in its uh, fragility and thinness. So as you can see, any kind of pressure on it would, would just destroy it, these leaf stalks. So this is what connects, these leaf stalks are what connects um, the branch to the, the very large leaves that you see in the photos. And uh, they really are too fragile. So they're going to go in the, in the wood stove for fuel. So we're going to see what we could do with the small branches and we're going to see what we could do with the sapling parts for a bow drill spindle. Okay, so let me get these prepared and see what we could do. So in this uh, Firekeeper publication 
on my website, uh, number seven, part two. Um, <clears throat> I showed you I found some uh, tulip poplar bark hanging from a branch while I was collecting swamp rose mallow. Well, this is that bark that was hanging off that branch. And uh, <clears throat> as it turns out, this bark is really too far gone. But uh, what I do have, and I, I'm just showing you as an example, this is, uh, this is how it can come off. Um, the outer bark and the inner bark, and the inner bark makes for very good fiber. However, this is really too far gone. But what I do have down here is some tulip poplar inner bark fiber taken from some firewood many many years ago okay and this is really how it comes off it comes off in these big huge sheets off the bark and uh, it's really great stuff when you get it at just the right time so what I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna twist this into a Bodril cordy for the um, Polonia tomentosa, which we're about to do. And I'm going to put it on a bow and we're going to try that. Okay? So I'm going to take this, I'm going to twist it up and uh, make that cord. Be right back. Okay, so uh, we're ready to give this a shot. I have my poplar um, cordage on a blueberry uh, branch. Okay, now uh, there's a few things that could go wrong right here. The poplar may be too old. This is really years and years old, this, this poplar bark. Um, it went together nicely but we'll see if it performs under the stress. Now, what's important to know about natural cordage is you don't want it to rub up against itself while it's going around the spindle. So you have to hold the bow at a slight angle so that it misses itself as it does the spiral around the, around the, the spindle. Now, one of the things that's gonna allow for um, the cordage to not rub up against itself is the cordage, as it goes around in this spiral, needs to ride up and down the spindle. And to do that, the spindle has to be of somewhat of a good length, which this is not. This is actually quite a short spindle, which means that the cordage can't run up and down very well, and it's gonna stay closer to itself and may rub against itself which may cause the cordage to break and again this is really really old now the tension is not so much kept by um, the cord going around the spindle and there being tension the tension is really kept by a flexible bow so when the and it's it may be hard to see I'm pressing on the the bow with my body which which bends it and I put the cordage around the spindle and when I release the bow it's the bow that's keeping tension on the cordage but the problem is is that as this rides up and down the, the spindle is really short so I'm going to have to kind of keep it together. Now the first thing I have to do is burn this together, uh, made it together. And uh, so I've taken off my shoe so I could do two things. One, I put my knee on my shoe. The other is my f the shoe won't crush uh, the baseboard. 
okay? So I have a walnut uh, pressure hand brace here. It's greased with linseed oil, all right? Now this spindle is really short, which is not gonna help things at all. It's six inches, less than six inches uh, tall. But this is the only place where it's really round. And uh, this part of this branch, the Paulonia is really thin. It's thin walled. So what I'm afraid is it's gonna cut into the wood uh, more so than get a lot of friction and burn. So here we're ready to give it our first shot. I'm going to cord the spindle. Hopefully it won't break. And we're going to go really carefully here. And we're just going to get, see if we can't just set that in first. Oh, and there it goes. New one last. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to do this with a regular cordage. I knew that the cordage was too old. So I'm going to throw a, uh, a regular bow on there and we'll just get that together. It happens. All right, hold on one sec. to have a bamboo bow right here with a cord on it so let me cord this get this together just need a little bit of friction I'm going to say that's mated. Now I'm going to put a, a notch in there. Yes, that was my bandsaw. Okay. You can see, got a nice notch in there on the side. And we're just going to go nice and easy. Just have to try that poplar bark another day. Too much pressure. The walls of the base are somewhat thin, so I don't want to use it up. Got to keep that base from moving. Fill that notch before it burns through. I only get one shot. There's my coal. It's on my sock. There we go. <laughs> but the spindle blew apart. Let me go find it. Oh, we got that just in time. As the spindle blew apart. That's how fragile this is, the Paulonia. Almost set myself on fire. There we go. Too bad about the poplar. 
some fresher cordage would have been nicer, but gave it a shot. All right. Uh, poplar, tulip poplar is also one of the better uh, woods for friction fire, especially bow drill. We'll do that another day. And uh, But here's my first ever fire hack of a bow drill of a Polonia Tomentosta. Polonia on Polonia. Polonia spindle, Polonia base. And there we go. All right. Onward. Let's keep going. All right, so we're ready to attempt a Polonia on Polonia hand drill. So this uh, spindle is not only rather crooked, okay, it's not only crooked, it's really short. So it's, uh, let's see, it's nine inches. Okay. It's nine inches in length and it is half an inch in diameter. As you can see, I took the bark off the bottom end so it doesn't cause any problems. Now, I gouged out some of this Polonia uh, branch so that we can get this mated together. And I'm gonna try that right now. Let's clamp that down without cracking it. Let's see if I can get enough pressure on this to get it mated. Just mating it together. I'm going to say that's mated because I want to save uh, the wood. Um, if I remove too much, if I use up too much of the wood for uh, mating, then there's nothing left for the actual friction itself. So I'm going to go right here right now to the bandsaw and put a notch in here. Two seconds, a little bit of noise. Okay, we got our notch in there. There's our notch. I'm going to adjust this over to the side so that you can see into the notch. I'm working with two cameras here, so just give me a sec. Secure that down a little bit. Let's see. SpongeBob. SpongeBob. Ready to go. My daughter did that. First ever Polonia hand drill fire hack. Polonia on Polonia. <laughs> on a nine inch crooked branch. <laughs> on another Polonia branch. There we go.
Not bad. All right, let's keep going.